Good morning, I'm out at the Herefordshire. I got a question for you. Out of all the sports, hobbies and pastimes, you ended up choosing golf. So why don't you try and get better at it? There's so many people I see whose game of golf involves turning up at the car park, getting their gear out and going straight to the first tee. And I'm wondering why they don't play well for the first four or five holes. You need to warm up. But more than that, you need lessons. Hands up anyone who's had lessons this year. That would be me. Hands up anybody who's planning to have lessons coming out of winter and into spring to shake off the winter rust. That would be me. But why don't you do it? Well, we all know a whole bunch of people at our clubs who had one lesson. They never practiced. They went to the tee. They played awful because they couldn't play the old way and they certainly couldn't play the new way. And they called the pro an idiot. They've ruined his game. But that isn't the way you have lessons, is it? So what's the first thing you do? Well, the first thing you do is you go and see your pro. You sit down, you have a coffee. You talk about what your problems are, what your goals are. What do you want to actually achieve? Take myself, for instance. I've just had a holiday in Thailand where I've been tipped out of the mini bucks onto the first tee, three swings and go. I've lost my setup. I've hit a lot of thats and thins, which suggests I'm either swaying or taking the club back on the inside and then I can't get it back to square. It's coming in shallow and I'm knifing it or hitting it incredibly fat. Now that's what I think I'm doing, but I could be wrong. So I need to book some lessons. I need to talk to James here in the pro shop about what's going on and what the likely fix might be. Now, even though I can look at my videos and say, oh, you're doing that, I'm not a professional. I cannot be sure, even with video, that I know what I'm doing wrong. So you talk to your pro, you talk about what you want, where you want to get to, and then you design a course of lessons around those goals. Because the most important thing about lessons is practice. You know, the guy who has the one lesson goes to the first tee and can't find his ass with both hands in the dark. That's the wrong way of doing it. My friend Curly had a set of lessons bought for him one Christmas. And I saw him a couple of months later. I said, how's it going? He goes, oh, not very well. So how's the practice going? Oh, I haven't practiced. See, how are you supposed to get better if you do not take your lesson to the practice facility, driving range or practice ground, rehearse the positions, rehearse the swing, get the muscle memory going? You cannot possibly improve without taking that lesson to the practice ground first. My general routine is have a lesson, go have a practice, go have a round of golf, see how much of it is actually stuck, and then go and practice again. The most important lesson is the second lesson. So your pro is gonna give you an aspirin to take to fix your problems. Now you might only take half the aspirin, you might take the whole bottle. Your my problem is bringing the club behind me. Without the second lesson, I don't know if I'm bringing the club behind me still, or whether I'm going out so wide to the right that I've created another fault. That second lesson, that second bout of practice, is so important. So of course I'm out here at the Herefordshire to see James, the head pro here, and put together a programme of works for the spring. So starting in February I'm going to have two long game lessons, and we all know the importance now of the second lesson. I'm also going to double down on my pitching lesson. I hope you see on the videos that I'm getting a little better at that. Then we'll have a third long game lesson to tidy up any loose ends, and then we'll take it from there. Now, if you remember a few months ago, I was given a free green fee to come out here and make some videos. So to say thank you, I'm putting a bottle of booze on the bar for the members to enjoy. See you in the bar. Well, Christmas is almost upon us, so 
from all the staff at the Herefordshire. Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Cheers! <laughs>